Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a revision video. I know, shock horror. I haven't filmed any sort of revision video since about the start of year 12 when I filmed my whole how I revised my different GCSE series but it is coming up to A-level exams and you guys have been asking for A-level a, oh my god, <laughs> A-level revision videos for months now, but I didn't want to film one until I know kind of like exactly what I'm doing and I've refined my techniques and things like that, so sorry if this is a bit last minute, but I know for future years this could be useful, like my GCSE one was, so yeah. I take A-level biology, history and English literature and I will be filming a video for all three of my subjects so before you ask, yes I am doing one for history and yes I am doing one for English literature, biology just happens to be first but if I stick to my plan I should be filming those in the next two weeks so it should be three consecutive weeks of revision videos <laughs> with yeah so yeah today i'm going to be talking about biology and i am on the exam board ocra i know different specifications do different things so if something sounds different to how you learn at school or your specification then obviously you can just adapt it to your exam board or whatever you need to do for your exam so i actually got an a star in biology at gcse and I took it in year 10 for some reason, not quite sure why, they just made triple science take it in year 10. And at A level I'm also predicted an A star. This however is probably not going to happen <laughs> because I got a B in my mock in January and I'm aiming for an A. I don't need an A star to get into uni and I don't really have a track record of getting A stars in biology anyway so I'm aiming for an A. That's my goal. But anyway I'm going to get into some revision now because that's what you're here to see. <laughs> okay, so to be honest, I don't do like a vast lot of things to revise for biology. I sort of have my techniques that work for me and I do those. This whole video is gonna be about things that I do, by the way. I know there are so many more methods to revise, but these videos are how I revise my different A-levels. So yeah, the main thing I do for biology is flashcards, and I'm sure you'll know this if you watch my study with me's and stuff. So for every module in biology, when we finished it, I would make a pack of flashcards that looks like this. So this is 4.1, disease and the immune system. And yeah, basically I'd put like the little uh, title of the, um, the module, the section up there, and then like the specific thing within that module there so these headings up here change depending on the different topics and yeah this is the main thing that I do for biology and I actually finished these yesterday I finished my 25th pack of flashcards for A-level biology so I have 25 packs of flashcards that cover the 25 different topics and I know this isn't like wow this is genius I've never seen this before um but honestly these work so well because a lot of biology is literally just fact recall and flashcards work best for me for remembering lots of facts because biology is basically just a whole load of facts that you have to learn and processes and stuff. So yeah, I normally go through these and obviously you can do different things with the flashcards. What I like to do is sort of when I'm going through them, if I don't get the answer right, then I'll sort it into one pile. All the ones I get right go into one pile, all the ones I get wrong go into another pile. And then I'll just keep going over the ones that I continue getting wrong until I just have a pile of right ones and no pile of wrong ones if that makes sense. I think that didn't make any sense whatsoever. However, I do do other things as well. Some things in biology are very hard to visualise when they're just on like an A5 card. So for like a bigger processes like respiration or photosynthesis, things that have loads of different cycles and loads of different bits that you've got to remember but are part of like one bigger picture, I like to make posters. And I actually made this one in a study with me that I uploaded recently and this is for respiration and 
things like this I find a lot more helpful than flashcards. Obviously flashcards are great to sort of revise the different sections of it. So for example, respiration has like four different cycles. So res um, not respiration, flashcards are great to sort of revise the details of all those different cycles. But I find posters like this are really good for sort of visualizing the whole thing because it just helps you understand it more. I feel like you're more likely to remember the different sections if you can sort of visualize them in a whole thing like this. Obviously, they don't have to look as confusing as this. <laughs> I just managed to make it look quite confusing on this. But yeah, things like this are really good. And I actually have this stuck on my wall up here as well, just above this poster. And not gonna lie, I don't look at it that often, but the process of doing things like this is also great because obviously you have to physically draw out the cycles and everything like that. So, However, as you will know, if you're on OCRA, the textbooks are literally so bad. They miss out so many details and little bits that you need to know. This is the one that I have. I have the CGP textbook. I don't know if there's better ones, but this is what school gave us. And my point is with this, don't just rely on your textbook when you're making revision resources. Use your class notes. I am so guilty for not using my class notes because often they'll be like a little bit scruffy and won't be like really nicely set out. But honestly, there is loads of details that you need to know in biology that they don't say in the textbook, but sometimes in lessons your teachers will say them because obviously they know what comes up on the exams. So use your class notes as well as your textbooks and other resources when you make things like flashcards and posters because it will help you out so much. And also I'm gonna talk about this later, but also doing exam questions and things like that. The mark scheme often flags up loads of points that aren't in the textbook. So definitely adding those to your revision resources is good. <laughs> Okay, so obviously there is also a practical element to biology. We do practical and then there is also a mathematical side to it and not gonna lie, maths is always where I lose marks in biology. It's 10% of the marks, I think, and normally I lose that solid 10%. But I do have this CGP book and it is the Essential Math Skills for A-Level Biology and this is actually so good. I'm not bad at maths, but for some reason like I just always miss the marks in biology I think because like I read into it too much or I don't really know but anyway I have this textbook and it's really good I don't think it was that expensive I bought it on Amazon so I will leave a link down below for it but yeah it just has like all the different skills that you need to know and then like worked examples I think it also has some exam questions in here not that I have done them because <laughs> I like to avoid maths where I can but um yeah they do have examples in here as well and some answers I don't know if it does have answers but obviously for things like maths and biology practice makes perfect you can't just really learn an equation and expect to do well in the exam unless you're like a maths genius I'm not um, so worked examples is really good for targeting those marks especially if you're like me and you always lose them <laughs> also as I mentioned before practice exam questions is so vital when revising a level biology I found that I always write down something that I think is logical in an exam and the mark scheme is asking for something really really specific and the only way to really get around that is to practice more exam questions because the more you do obviously the more acquainted you're going to get with what the mark scheme is actually asking you and what the mark scheme is looking for so yeah practice exam questions i know i said this in all of my gcse videos and stuff but they are so important i know they are a ball ache i don't like doing them but they are very important and Obviously, like, schools do this differently. In my biology, we always do loads of exam questions. We do them in class, we do them for homework. But if your teacher doesn't set you as many, then of course you can find some yourself. Teachers have a lot more access to them than we do, I think, because it's a relatively new specification. So definitely go and ask your teacher for some if you want some. 
or as well as that this sounds like it's sponsored by cgp but it's really not but cgp if you want to sponsor me then hit me up but uh, i also have this cgp um exam practice workbook so if you don't do that many exam style questions in class this is a great thing because they are all exam style questions and they also have a mark scheme in this so this is a really good way as well to work out what they're asking for because honestly some of the questions in biology you read them and you're like what are you even asking me and then you write something that you think's logical down and no it wants something completely different but anyway that's just my little rant because that always happens to me I don't know why but yeah okay so I think that was a fairly short video but as I said I don't really do a lot for biology I sort of have my little things that work for me and I just stick to doing those but I hope that this was useful in some way and good luck for your exams because I am bricking it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe and follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye guys.